My name is David Jonathan, mostly called as Johnny, and I work with Grassroots Program in Luton. Born as a Christian minority in the northwest of India, studied in a Hindu faith school and studied in a Hindu faith college as well. I was always questioned for who I was as a Christian and how it related uh, to my sense of loyalty to my nation. And I therefore fully understand that how Muslims are also put in question for their religious identities and for their Britishness in this part of the world. The Grassroots Program is a Christian ecumenical program of community engagement. In dialogue with churches and uh, with other faith communities, Grassroots strives to uncover, I would say, Christ's presence in a very sharp edge of engagement with contemporary issues of our times, which include community cohesion issues, interfaith relations, tackling inequality and injustice issues. But soon Grassroots realize that in a town like Luton, where over 60% of its population is religiously affiliated and where over 140 languages are spoken. Grassroots cannot just afford to become a resource for churches, it had to become a resource for all different faith communities. What is happening today is an event organized by one of the Luton's very different faith communities, and that is called Baha'i Faith Community and they are commemorating World Religion Day today in their event. Usually when they do events like these, they would try to invite as many people as possible. Uh, there will be hopefully some songs, some poetry, some recitations, some sharing. But most, what is most important is another space that is created for people from diverse backgrounds to come together and share and celebrate what is common between us than what divides us. And why should Christians and church engage with interfaith is also important because we are living in a world which is increasingly getting pluralized, where majoritarianism, xenophobia, a kind of political rhetoric which would be unacceptable until a few years ago is getting normalized these days. And therefore, if as people of faith, we do not rise up to cross those boundaries, to transcend those barriers that are being created in the name of religion and ethnicity and culture and nationalism, then we have no hope. If we have to live together, as someone has said, uh, then we have to learn to live together. And interfaith, interfaith is one of the best ways of doing that. Otherwise, as someone also has said, we are going to have to die alone. And then I am also reminded of uh, a German theologian called Hans Kung, who also said that no peace in the world without peace among religions. And I think if we have to establish peace amongst people from different religious backgrounds, the first and the foremost thing is to go and meet, knock their doors, and then establish friendship and see how best we can work together rather than working in competition with one another. I often say this, it's best to complement one another than to compete against one another.